Undetected hydrothermal is detected by infrasound. The Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles is a weekly column written by scientists and collaborators at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. This week's contribution comes from Michael Poland, a geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey and the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Infrasound refers to low-frequency acoustic energy. For audio enthusiasts, the specific frequency range in question is 0.1 to 20 hertz, which is below the range of human hearing, typically 20 to 20,000 hertz. Although infrasound is not audible to humans, this sound energy can play an important role in monitoring processes occurring in Earth's atmosphere. Infrasound propagates efficiently through the atmosphere, experiencing very little atmospheric absorption or scattering compared to high-frequency energy. This means infrasound can travel long distances and still be detected. Therefore, infrasound is a critical component of the International Monitoring System IMS, which is designed to detect nuclear tests. Nuclear explosions, even underground, produce significant low-frequency sound waves that can be detected thousands of miles away from the blast source. If infrasound is so good at detecting nuclear explosions, you might expect it to be equally remarkable at detecting volcanic eruptions. Infrasound is widely used to monitor volcanoes, because infrasound energy travels easily through the atmosphere, monitoring systems do not need to be located directly on the volcano of interest. In fact, Alaska has only a few infrasound monitoring stations that track activity along the Aleutian Islands chain of volcanoes, which stretches about 1-800 kilometers across the North Pacific. Infrasound monitoring is conducted by three or more instruments placed close together. By installing at least three instruments in a triangular arrangement, the direction of origin the of the infrasound signal can be measured. This is because sound waves travel at a relatively slow speed, 761 miles, 1, 225 kilometers per hour. That speed may seem fast, but compare it to seismic waves, which travel through the Earth at up to 3 to 5 miles, 5 to 8 kilometers per second. At this lower speed, infrasound waves arrive at each station in the array at slightly different times. By comparing the arrival times between stations, the direction of the sound's origin can be determined. If infrasound is recorded on more than one or the location of the actual sound source can be triangulated. Infrasound recordings in Yellowstone were either temporary installations designed to study a specific geyser or were single microphones that could not measure the direction of the sound's origin. However, in September 2023, the first permanent, continuous, three-sensor infrasound array was installed in Yellowstone, specifically in the Norris Geyser Basin. This station immediately produced significant results, tracking activity at Steamboat Geyser. Infrasonic energy from the eruption could be detected continuously for several hours, indicating a highly energetic source. The new infrasonic station also recorded a powerful boom sound, lasting nearly a minute on the afternoon of April 15, 2024. This event was associated with a small hydrothermal explosion in the area between the Porcelain Basin and Lake Newfar. 
The explosion was not witnessed, but it left a small crater about three meters in diameter, surrounded by an area of warped and disturbed ground.